My name is Seth Moran. I'm a volcano seismologist and I work for the U.S. Geological Survey at the Cascades Volcano Observatory. One of the important parts of this job is satisfying the USGS's mission of, of, of mitigating hazards, mitigating the effects of hazards. And so one of the primary ways that we do that is to provide warning to folks who are living in harm's way or near volcanoes uh, that might be impacted by, by an eruption. With volcanoes, when magma is moving through the earth, it makes noise. It breaks rock, it moves the volcano, and uh, almost always there's usually seismic unrest. That's a part of that. And so the job of the Volcano Seismic Network is to be able to detect all of the possible signs uh, and symptoms that uh, might be pointing towards magma moving towards the surface and getting closer to eruption. One of the tools of volcano seismology is the seismic network. We need to have seismometers out in the field recording the signs and symptoms of a volcano that might or might not be restless. Um, so a, a seismic network um, typically consists of anywhere between 1 and 20 seismic sensors. And sort of one of the clear lessons over the last 20, 30 years is the more sensors, the better. And that gives you a lot more capabilities to do a better job of, of interpreting seismic signals. Those seismometers are out in the field. They're attached to radio systems that are beaming the data back to our offices here or to the offices of our partners up at the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network at the University of Washington. And one of the things that's really, really exciting about working in an observatory is you have all these folks with different specialties, geologists, hydrologists, geophysicists, geochemists, all coming together, speaking a common language, which is volcanoes, and bringing their expertise to bear. 